Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today I'm going to do another what's in my child's Easter basket video. I did one of these last year. My daughter turned, I want to say she was four, she was like four months around the Easter time. So it was right as she was starting to start teething and finally getting interested in grasping stuff. So I have a lot of really good recommendations in that video from last year if you want to check that out because at that point we really didn't have any toys for her. Maybe we had like one or two things and we were really starting to build up our collection. Now we have quite a lot of toys. So I definitely tried to focus on, you know, budgeting for this year with Easter and also kind of more so focusing on things for summertime because last summer she loved playing outside. She loved being outside, but if I sat her somewhere, she stayed wherever I sat her. Now, I don't think she knows what sitting is. So definitely a lot of emphasis for this year I have on different things that we can use outside. I also tried to save money in different places by getting things secondhand or finding a lot of gifts from say like the Dollar Tree. So if you guys are interested in seeing what is in my 14 month old daughter's Easter basket this year, meaning she'll be 15 months for Easter, then keep on watching. Let's go. I will be using the same exact Easter basket that I used last year. When I ordered this basket last year, I did not realize online how large it was, <laughs> but this thing is ginormous. This is from Target. I don't know if they are selling something similar this year. If they are, I will link whatever they have this year down below. I will say last year, she had a ball. <laughs> well, my cat did last year, but we were able to like sit her in this last year and take pictures. This year, I'm sure she'll like filling it up with things and playing with it because it is like literally a gigantic bunny head. I will try to link as many things down below as I can from this video. Like I said, some things are secondhand, some things are from the Dollar Tree. So this video is not only for like ideas of things you can get, but also like ways to get a little creative when you're working with the budget. So I did get her a set of dishes. She right now only has like suction cup dishes, but I did find a little set at Target that <laughs> has a plate and two bowls. These are not suction cup and they are a frozen two dish set. This is one of her all time favorite things, frozen. So you will see a few frozen things in this haul, but she will be very excited to have things like this. Like even like for snacks, having like fancy new bowls to use will be really fun for her. So this was a very exciting find at Target. I did get her one other set of bowls at Target. This is from their pillow fort brand and it was $3 for these six bowls. And I thought this would be really fun for playing with outside, like just like having in the pool or we have a water table that we got on Facebook Marketplace or you know, even to be able to put snacks in and stuff. Like I like bowls and measuring cups and spoons and stuff because they have so many different uses and purposes. And like, even if she outgrows wanting to use these as toys, like we could just use these as regular bowls in our house. Like I really like how the multi-dimensional usage when it comes to kitchen supplies. Let me go over the few things I was able to find at the Dollar Tree. Now I do know Dollar Tree does cost $1.25 now, but I did find a few really nice things, especially for summertime. I will say if you guys are frequent flyers of this channel, you may have seen a lot of this stuff in vlogs or different hauls, but this is the collective video now. So I did find this in the toy department. I thought this would be really fun, like with the water table or something. It's a little bathtub and it has like a little squirter. It doesn't, I don't think it actually squirts and it has like a soap and a little rubber ducky. I think she will really like using this. She has a little people set that's like the little mermaid and the little mermaid comes with her own little bathtub. And we like to pretend like, oh, whose turn is it to get a bath now? So I think this will be fun, especially outside to fill with water and like give baths and stuff. So I thought this was really cute. I did get her one piece of chocolate. I got her a chocolate bunny because I feel like how can you give an Easter basket without a chocolate bunny? Like growing up, definitely our Easter baskets were completely filled with chocolate, but she's still too little to like understand what it means to get a basket of chocolate. So one bunny it is. I got this set of rubber duckies. So these are their bath time fun uh, toys, bath time fun toys. We actually have another set of these that I got at the Dollar Tree that is in the bathtub right now. It came with like an octopus, a crab, and a starfish. She loves it. What I do is I take the holes and I fill it with like a little bit of um, super glue and let it sit so <laughs> they don't fill up with water and get moldy. So I got her like this little set that's ducks for the pool this summer. I also got her this little broom set. It is quite small. As you can see, it's not the biggest, but I wanted to get her something like a vacuum or a broom or a mop or something, but I kept just seeing like mops that don't look like mops we have. So I don't think she really understand what it is. Not that this is the most broom looking broom, 
but just for her to like be able to stand up and work on like sweeping and stuff I think she would really like this I think it's cute and like I said like I didn't want to like spend an arm and a leg on a child's broom so I feel like this really will do a great job at what I'm looking for it to do okay we're going down a little bit I've been sitting on my feet and it really hurts so now I'm sitting crisscross applesauce I have two things in here that we did get secondhand so we can talk about that the first is from Facebook Marketplace. Like I said, we do have a water table that we got on Facebook Marketplace. I'm so excited to use it this summer. Like she is going to love it. This kid loves anything with water. So summer is just going to be the best for her. I wanted to get her a teapot set that wasn't like electronic. Like I had seen a lot that were like battery powered. Like we actually were just gifted one that's battery powered, but I wanted one where we could like put water and then she could like work on pouring because I think that would be really fun. The first one I saw that I really liked on Facebook Marketplace was like an Abby Kadabby one but someone had already claimed it. So <laughs> this is not my top choice but I think she'll still like it. It's an Olaf teapot set. I don't know if they still sell this anywhere. If they do I will link it down below but it's like <laughs> a Olaf's head. So you open his hat and you put it fill with water and the water comes out his nose. It's such a strange concept. I think she'll like it. It also then comes with four little cups. So I think the whole thing stacks, yeah. So it stacks like this. Has like buttons and arms on all the cups. It comes with plates that have Anna and Elsa on them for each cup. There are some spoons. There's three spoons, which makes me think I'm missing a spoon. That's okay. And then it has a couple little lemon wedges that you can stick on. It's, it's very, very cute. In general, I just wanted some sort of a tea set just because I thought it would be really fun to play with outside with water, make a mess, not in my house. So I'm not necessarily saying a teapot, but if there is like a certain type of toy that you're looking for, what I have found is wonderful about, especially baby and toddler toys, is they don't get used a lot, especially the baby stuff. They use them for such a short period of time that usually you can get stuff in really good um, condition and I mean like even this person still had the little carrying case which is great. The other thing I got I had seen recommended to me on Facebook marketplace so I, and I was like wait what is that? So they were kids crocs that had Olaf on them. Like I said we're going through a frozen phase and I was like oh crocs would be like a really like I don't like crocs I'm sorry if you're a croc person I don't like crocs but little kids in crocs is like the cutest thing ever and I was like oh that would be like a really good like not like a water shoe for like the beach, but like like I'm like out, she's like outside playing with like the water table. Like I don't have to worry about her shoes getting ruined or her stepping on something. And I was like, oh, let me see. And like, first of all, the Olaf ones no longer are sold. And they had Anna and Elsa ones that were like $40. And I was like, I can't pay $40 for Anna and Elsa Crocs. That's, that's wild. So I looked up the Olaf ones and I was able to find a pair used on Macari. And this is my first time ever using, using Macari and I really had a good experience and I got her this little Olaf Crocs. Like, she's gonna look so cute. These kill me. And I mean, they're Crocs, so I just kind of washed them with some Dawn soap because I was like, I'm not really concerned about like the bottom of them, but I wanted to wash out the inside at least. And yeah, I'm very excited for that. I think there's only one other frozen thing in here, so I'll get it out of the way. I don't think I can link this one, but I did find this at the tall in the dollar spot at Target for three dollars. She doesn't like wearing hats at all. Last summer, I could put any hat on her head and it was good. This summer, well, this is spring so far, we're not looking too uh, hopeful with the hats. So I was like, well, maybe if it's an Anna and Elsa hat, I'll have better luck. We'll see. The next item I found at, I believe it was, what does it say? Yeah, TJ Maxx, and it's a puzzle. It wasn't the cheapest, it was $7.99, which I guess is like pretty at like mid-range. It's from a brand I've never heard of, ELC. But what I really liked is how big the pegs are on this. We have a bunch of different kinds of puzzles. She really likes pulling puzzles apart. Sometimes she tries to put them back, but more so taking them apart. A lot of the Melissa and Doug ones, the depending on the stage of puzzle, the pegs are a lot tinier and I really liked the size of the pegs on this puzzle and I think she'll really like this one. We don't have a dinosaur puzzle. I like, oh, also something really cool. A storage bag is included. I've never had a puzzle that included a storage bag. So that was really cool too. If I can find that brand of puzzle link, like online, I will link it down below. Like I said, I was focusing on outdoor toys and I wanted to see if I could find anything that was an outdoor toy at Target that wasn't just bubbles because we have a bunch of bubble stuff. We actually have a bubble lawnmower that we bought last year like after summer when it was really discounted she doesn't know about that yet but so i found these like fishies 
that you can like use the net to catch them. I thought that was really cute. The last thing I have physically in the box is one of my two bigger items. I got her a beginner set of magnetiles. Magnetiles are quite pricey. This is 15 pieces and it's I think it was about $30 for a 15 piece set. I wanna see how she feels about magnetiles. I personally think they're very cool. I think it's like the coolest kind of block, like magnetic blocks. It just seems so cool. I know that it's kind of like Legos or Duplos, how you kind of build your collection up over time. So I figured we'd start with a very basic beginner set and see if she likes them or not. But I'm definitely like very excited to see her use these and maybe play with them too. So that was everything that was in my giant bunny head. She said so normally. There's one other thing that I had wanted to get her that I had seen someone on Instagram with. Now, I very much enjoy using Instagram for like activity ideas because sometimes I'm not creative enough and like I'll see something on Instagram and I'll be like, that's such a good idea. There's something called, I think they're called Fizzlat tables. It's something that's sold at Ikea and it's like a table for like kids to do activities at. They're like $100. Someone on Instagram had this one that's like $20. It's not wood and fancy. It's plastic, has little legs. What I like about it is it also comes with a sand toys, which I didn't even know. I know we have a water table, but I wanted something also that we could do like not just water in because I'm not going to want to put sand in the water table or other stuff, you know. So it comes with sand toys. You can take the legs off and it can be like a storage box. Also, I didn't even realize this. It says you can stack blocks on it and it won't say the brand, but those definitely look like Duplos. We have a lot of my Duplos from when I was a kid here. <laughs> So if you can stack Duplos on it too, that just like adds to the coolness. This is like a better picture of it. I don't know, I think it's a really cool idea. This one is not like a standing thing. Like as you can see, the kids are on the ground playing with it. So it's more like a sitting activity. So I thought it was, I thought it was really cool because it's something that can be inside and outside. Whereas I'm not bringing the water table inside my house. So it has a lot of variety, I guess, to the activities you can do with it, which I thought was cool. There's only one last thing I can show you in this video, and it's another Dollar Tree thing. We're not making eggs. Um, she's way too young for that. And I'm not investing too much into an Easter egg hunt. However, I did want to get her like a little basket with eggs. So again, from the Dollar Tree, I love that it looks like a basket, but it's like very, very lightweight plastic. So it'll be easier for, for her to carry. And then I was thinking of just like scattering eggs around our lawn and she can go grab them all. So I grabbed a little speckled egg set and that was gonna be off. But then they had these little eggs that aren't even eggs basically. They're like animal heads. And I was like, that's so cute. She'll love that. So I splurged and got two packs of eggs at the Dollar Tree. So that is more so like an activity, not so like a what's in my kid's Easter basket. But you know, this is a lot more than I definitely was getting at Easter when I was a kid. But it's just, it's like, it's fun for me to make these baskets as much as it is for her to open them. And like I said, like, it's okay to not spend the most money. Like you can go to the Dollar Tree, you can get stuff secondhand and like, it'll be just as exciting for her. So that's all I have for this video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other toddler content you're looking forward to because I have a full on toddler. It's a lot having a toddler. It's both exciting and overwhelming at the same time. Toddlers are a species in themselves, let's put it that way. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.